Hi guys, this is a series of tutorials and sessions in which we'll be looking how to develop a database in MS Access. Starting from the database development, step by step, from user requirements, database normalization, then to build the tables, queries, forms and reports with VBA coding. This is actually, this tutorial is based on a real-time requirement, which was one of my colleagues requirement. So I thought that just to give it a shot and to share my knowledge how I have developed that database. So without wasting any time, we'll move to the next sheet. Now what will be, will, what will be covered throughout the session? User requirements, database normalization, creating different tables, relationship, primary key and foreign key, then how to build the create, uh, tables in MS Access, how to build the forms in MS Access, creating queries, reports, form objects, objects or controls, text boxes or labels, then VBA codes, working with combo box, runtime calculations, macros, how to create a login screen, then hide and show controls as per user authority, and much more. Let's move on to the next sheet. Okay, now the title is Document Control Management Database. Now what is the scenario? What is the user requirement? Now first, whenever we are getting any uh, requirement, first we, we need to understand the scenario in which environment the user is working and how the data is flowing from one sheet to another sheet or how they are utilizing the data. Let's start. Now Mr. John, works in company ABC in document control department. The company is having three offices in London, Oxford and Leeds in UK. Mr. John is having problem to manage the documents and to remember the expiries. Currently he is using multiple sheets to record all the data for each site. To understand better I have given example also that Mr. John is having difficulty to remember the expiry dates of vehicle licenses, expiry dates of driving licenses of drivers, drivers health card etc. Which means that what Mr. John needs that he need a kind of database which gives him the document expiries. So for example if a driving license is getting expired he should be able to identify through the system. So these are the user requirements. What the user says or Mr. John says, right after login, the program should display the records of documents which are getting expired in 30 days time. So basically as soon as he log into the system, a pop-up window should appear and in that window only those documents should be listed which are getting expired in 30 days time. So at least he will be able to uh, proactively take the action to renew the documents. Next, user should be able to enter the records of documents. Of course, if the entry or edit option is not there, definitely it, the database will be useless. So the user should be able to enter the records of document and associate attributes such as document name, document type, issuing authority, issue date and expiry date. Next requirement, the system should have few reports as well where Mr. John can take report for report for expired documents, report for documents that are getting expired in 30 days, a report by document type, report for all active documents, report for expired document, which means if any document is expired back in the history, back in the past, so he should be able to get report for that document. Now let's have a look how Mr. John is maintaining the record currently. So, Mr. John records the document expiries in a sheet. Here you can see document record. Site is London. So, definitely he'll be using different different sheet for uh, the Oxford side, different sheet, another sheet for lead side. How is recording? Employee name. Okay, document number. Document description. Driving license issued from Oxford and need to be transferred to London. This is an example. Maybe it's not true, but as an example. So any type of description, whatever, or maybe remarks you want to put. Document type, driving license. Issue date is 1st of Jan 2014. 
expiry 1st of Jan 2016. Issuing this authority, Driving and Licensing Authority. Record number 2, same Mr. Matthew, insurance card, only self-medical is included. This is insurance card, 1st of May 2013, expiry is 1st of Jan 2018. It's issuing authority, Alicorn Insurance Company. So this is how he is managing the record. Presently, what's happening that, for example, this record is expired already, but it stays in his sheet. So his sheet is growing day by day. And definitely, it's difficult to manage all these records. Now, the current date is, remember, 5th of June 2016. And there is one record. 9th of July 2016 this document is getting expired within 30 days now in a kind of this sheet he is unable to identify records which records are expired which documents need to be renewed for example driving lessons so this is how he is managing the records now as per the database concepts and terminology I'm sure you know it very well that document type is repeated again and again driving license again driving license then insurance card is also repeated insurance card social security card here also social security card okay the authorities are driving the licensing authority again that is repeated lease agreement here also Alicon insurance company is also repeated here you can see so this means that every time Mr. John is entering a record he has to write all these details again and again but in the databases we can build a database where he does not have to write again and again the same thing so this is time wastage as well and of course occupying the space as well so this sheet now I have broken down into different tables so this is called database normalization which means reduce redundancy put repeated data in separate tables so what we have done we have created a document table in which we are having the fields doc ID description doc number Employer ID, doc type ID, issue date, expiry date, issuing authority ID. Then we have employee table. So what we have done, keep in mind this sheet. So employee table, employee names. So we have created separate table for employee. Document type, which means here you can see driving license, insurance card or social security card. So that's why we created document type table. Then issuing authority. Issuing authority means driving and licensing authority, Alicorn insurance company. So these all will come in issuing authority database uh, table. Okay, now as you have seen that this sheet is for site London. So of course we should provide a feasible solution to Mr. John that he should be able to put site ID as well. So what we have done. that here okay site ID I will explain later on for the timing this is the table and document table employee document type issuing authority now we have created a relationship so employee ID is linked with document employee ID one to many relationship means one employee can have multiple documents so that's why it's it is one to many relationship then document document table document id document type id is linked with doc type id again one document one document type can become many times document type id for example driving license again driving license is driving license so that's why we have created this relationship same like for issuing authority created one to many relationship okay now if you remember just a while ago I talked about I spoke about site ID or sites 
So what we have done, we have added one more table, site, site ID, site name. So we have created another table and this is the relationship. How does it work? Remember one more thing that this is an employee ID, employee name and this one too many relationship because this employee ID in document table from where it will come from this table. So which means that this is the primary key and employee ID in document table this is foreign key. Same like document type ID and document type name. This is the primary key document type ID from where from which table it will come from this table. So that's why this is called as foreign key. Same like issuing authority ID also foreign key site ID is also foreign key. Foreign key means that in this field the data is coming from this table. I hope so far we have covered the first session how to get the user requirement how to segregate the data to reduce redundancy which is known as database normalization now in next step in next session I'll be showing you that how do we create tables in Microsoft Access database and then link all these tables by having one to many relationship so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want to see a complete database from the very scratch this tutorial is for those users or students or managers because these tutorials are covering the very basic up to expert level thank you very much for joining me see you in next session have a great day